welcome back everyone now let us continue our series of geotechnical engineering video lectures and we will now get into some numerical problems based on the bulk density so bulk density and dry density porosity void ratio these all terms are already covered in the lectures as we have already seen we already know what are the physical meanings of this word so just let us use them to solve the problems now so we will just solve the problems so that you get a clear view of the how the formulas are used in actual practice the first problem this is a easy one just first of all understand what is being asked the void ratio specific gravity of a sample of clay are 0.73 2.7 means e the void ratio is 0.73 and gs or you can call it g whatever is 2.7 okay the first sentence gives us this much information further what does it say if the voids are 92% saturated what does this mean 92% saturated actually this means that this is actually giving us the degree of saturation of the soil okay degree of saturation means s is 92% okay find the bulk density dry density water content three things we have to find so let's see as i just told you three things are given to us e g and s okay these three things are already given to us now what we will do we will find gamma t means bulk density gamma d means dry density and w this is the water content first of all you know that what is gamma t gs plus sc upon 1 plus e into gamma w okay now you can see that we are already given with the value of g and s and e and gamma w i told you in the last class that gamma w if it is given then it is okay or you can also use it as 10 or you can use it as 9.81 9.81 what is the unit kilo newton per meter cube okay kilo newton per meter cube 10 or 9.81 so just replace the values what are all the values g will be put in put as 2.7 e will be putting as 0.73 and s is given as 92% so here we will not put 92% remember that we will not put it in the percentage form we will put it in the fraction form means 0.92% okay it is given us with percentage but while using in this we will use it as 0.92 means the fraction part will be used okay don't get confused in this then again e what is e it is the 0.73 so now you get all the values just put these values in the expression okay so uh, apply the formula just uh, that we are told so gamma t will be gs plus s into e upon 1 plus e into gamma w put all the expressions and we will get 19.118 kilonewton per meter cube okay the result may vary this result is not the, may vary if you use 9.81 it will come something different okay 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube you will get something different and if you use it as 10 then obviously you will get something different okay just let me write the expression as well it will be easier for you 2.7 plus point 92 into e is 0.73 whole upon this can close in the big bracket upon 1 plus 0.373 okay this whole is to be multiplied by let's take it 9.81 just calculate this and get the answer okay remember that you always have to use the unit with it because not using unit can deduct your marks everywhere in the exam okay it's a very important part because just writing the 
quantity or the numerical part doesn't un make us understand what is it what is it it is in kg or in kilometer or what so always write the unit with it okay this was the first part gamma t now you know we were asked what are gamma t gamma d and w okay now if you remember there was an expression which we derived last time it was gamma d is equals to gamma t upon 1 plus w okay now just in the last slide you saw that we have derived or x find the value of gamma d oh sorry gamma t we have found out the gamma t let me correct it we have not find this we are to find it so gamma d we have found already this now we need this one and this one and uh, see we also require this in the question also this and this so once we find out w we can find out gamma d straight away by using this formula so why don't we calculate w because we have to calculate w anyway in the question as well okay so just calculate the value of w to calculate the value of w if you remember i already have explained you the formula s into e s into e is equals to w into g s so what is e that is void ratio this is the degree of saturation this is water content and this is specific gravity out of this if you remember this is also given to us which is 0.92 this is also given to us which is 0.73 and this is also given to us which is 2.7 just solve the equation for getting w okay this will give us the value of w so w can be written directly as 0.92 into 0.73 upon 2.7 is it okay so just calculate it to get the value of w then finally once we get the value of w from that part then again we will be using the formula which is gamma d is equals to gamma t upon 1 plus w so this will give you the value of gamma d this which is the final part okay just replace the value suppose if you get it as 20 and this as uh, let us say 0.5 0.25 then replace them uh, sorry Five, just replace them to get the value. In this question, it is written that you will, you will get this value. It may differ by some part, not much, but again the same. It will nine point eight one or ten can differ your answer by a little margin. Okay, so this was the first question. Not much stuff. Just you had to use how many expressions? One was S into E is equal to W into G S. One expression was this. okay the second expression which you used was gamma t what was it it was g plus s e upon 1 plus e into gamma w okay and the third expression was this itself so just the three expressions were used and three parameters w gamma b gamma t were calculated okay so this is the use of the formulas we can derive it from different parts yeah in some questions you have to use the physical meanings as well suppose maybe you have to you may be required suppose to find w you may be required w w upon ws parameter means you have to get what is the weight of water and what is the weight of the soil in the uh, soil weight of the soil solids in that part of the soil okay so this is numerical based let us see what is the physical based okay the next question let us see now this one porosity and void ratio porosity and void ratio what is porosity nita and what void ratio e okay this you might remember what was their uh, where formula vv by v and what was its formula it was vv by vs okay if you remember i told you that these both are used for finding the or defining the denseness of the soil in the ground or in the field okay 
So let us see what is the question and what is given to us. What and we are what are we find? A sample with a volume of forty-five meter cube is filled with a soil sample. Okay, you can see means there is a sampler. You can say a container is there whose volume is forty-five meter cube. Okay, so now this container. Something like this. Okay. Now this container is filled with what? It is filled with what? Soil. Okay. It is filled with soil. Okay. It is filled with soil. Now, when the soil is poured in a graduated cylinder, it displaces twenty-five meter cube of water. What does this mean? This means that when the soil was just poured into the container having a volume of this forty-five meter cube. It was filled with the soil. Means the soil filled the whole container. But now what they have done? They have poured the same soil into a graduated cylinder. What is a graduated cylinder? Means a container or a cylinder. You can say something like this, which is having graduations here. Okay, it is having a data, or it helps us to identify the what is the volume and what is the depth up to which the Matter is filled. So in this, what happens? There is water. Water is there. Okay, it is filled with water. And now, what happens? They have poured in the soil. The same soil. The same soil is poured here. The same soil is being poured here. Here, how much it was displacing? It was means it was filling forty-five meter cube. But now, let us say that here is a container, big one. Okay. Now it is. Fully filled with water initially. Now the soil is poured inside it. What happens? It's filled already. So what will happen? The soil particles which will come inside will displace the water. So water will go out. Water will pour out, ooze out, and as I have shown here, it will fall into this. Okay. So again, some water will be collected here. Okay. Some water will be collected here, and the whole soil solid will slowly go and. Settle down, something like this, something like this, something like this. Okay, so after that, the person who was continuing this uh, whole experiment saw that he measured this water, this water which was displaced by the soil solids. He found that this water was twenty-five meter cube. Is it okay? Twenty-five meter cube displaces twenty-five meter cube of water. How does it displace by this process? So this water is uh, measured and it was twenty-five meter cube. Did you understand the question? Okay. So finally, what we are to find? Let me clear it. <clears throat> Now finally, we have to find porosity and void ratio. Okay. See the solution. Again, the side wall. The total volume of the soil is this because it. Fill the whole container with volume of forty-five meter cube. Then, the key point which I already explained was what: as we drop the soil in the water, the soil particles which displace this water. Okay, just I show you in the figure. So this was the main part. Now, what we found actually was that the volume of the soil solids, soil solids volume. Which got into that cylinder, which uh, got into the cylinder and the water oozed out. Okay, this volume of soil solids was actually how much? That this was obviously equal to that water which was displaced out. Okay, the water which was displaced out will be obviously equal to the amount of soil solids which entered the cylinder. Okay, extra, not extra, not less than that. So this. Water was measured there, and what was its amount? Twenty-five meter cube. So this is actually the volume of soil solids, and what was the total volume? Forty-five. Okay. So what we have to find now? E and nita. You already know the formula V V upon V S. Is it okay? So what will be the value of V V? V S you found out twenty-five. What will be V V? If you know the total volume is forty-five meter cube, 
So, what is V V? V minus V S this will be 20 meter cube ok is it clear. So, you have V V V S V. Now, this was I was talking about the same problem you can see that we have used the physical meaning of porosity and void ratio to calculate the parameters E and N ok. The previous problem was what there only the numerical expressions were being used so that we can calculate out the different things or different parameters asked in the question. Here we have found out physically how much the parameters are. So, now just what is E? E is V V upon V S. What is V V? Just you have found out 20. What is V S? It is 25. Just calculate it, we get 0 0.8. Again, final neta. What is neta? V V by V. Okay. So, what is V V by V? V V by V. So, 20 upon 45. This is 20. Okay. We get 0.444. So, this was the answer. Okay. Got it. So, this was it. Now, this was some easy questions asked. Okay. Now, the next turn we will be discussing about the index properties of the soil. This is also another important parameter which is very important for our geotechnical engineering. So, we will look into it what are they, how are they measured and all. Okay. Okay. Thank you.